Hello there, my name is Doug Hills and this is the Clip Studio Guide. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about the name change of not only this series, but also the program that many of us have come to know as Manga Studio. Let's get started with a little bit of history. Many of you who have used Manga Studio over the years are probably familiar with the company that has been selling this program for about the last decade or so, Smith Micro. What you may not know is that while Smith Micro distributes the program, they did not create it. That honor goes to the Japanese company known as Celsus. Around 2006, Celsus and Smith Micro worked at a distribution deal. Celsus would sell the program in Japan as Comic Studio, later to be Clip Studio Paint, while Smith Micro would sell the program internationally, renaming the program Manga Studio. In 2014, this distribution deal changed. Celsus would now handle digital distribution worldwide under the Clip Studio name, while Smith Micro would handle physical distribution under the Manga Studio name. Because of this, some users were confused about whether these were actually two different programs. Adding to the confusion was the version numbering. Prior to the most recent update, the Clip Studio series was at version 1.5.3, while the Manga Studio series was at version 5.0.6. So in an attempt to remove confusion, Celsius and Smith Micro announced that starting in March of 2016, the program would be distributed globally under one name, Clip Studio Paint. For those of us who have been used to the Manga Studio name for the last 10 years, this is going to take some getting used to. But by having one name and one version number moving forward, all users of the program will be on the same page. So now that we're all caught up, let's go over a few questions that I'm sure you have about all this. First, why Clip Studio Paint? Well, my guess is because Celsius is the company that created the program, they get to be the ones that name it. What will Manga Studio 5 and Manga Studio 5EX be called now? Well, moving forward, Manga Studio 5 will officially be known as Clip Studio Paint Pro, while Manga Studio 5 EX will now be Clip Studio Paint EX. How does this all affect Manga Studio users? Well, honestly, it won't. For a Manga Studio user, this changes in name and version number only. Again, Clip Studio Paint and Manga Studio have always been the same program. Now they'll just have the same name as well. Do Manga Studio users need to purchase a new serial number in order to update to Clip Studio Paint? The serial number that Manga Studio users currently have will be valid for all future updates to the Clip Studio series. And, as before, these version updates will be free of charge. When should users see this name change? Version 1.5.4 of the Clip Studio series was released on March 15th, 2016. This will be the first version that will be using the Clip Studio name universally. Could Manga Studio users continue to use their current copy and not worry at all about Clip Studio? Well, sure. If you're satisfied with your current copy of Manga Studio, then you can just keep working with it. Keep in mind, however, that you will not be privy to any new features, functions, or bug fixes that come with the version updates. Also, because my series likes to focus on the most recent version of the program, you may find over time that things that I cover or explain in the series won't match up with your copy of the program. But if you're cool with all that, there's absolutely nothing preventing you from sticking with Manga Studio 5.0.6. Just make sure that you have your Manga Studio setup files backed up, as Smith Micro will no longer host them on their site. If you're someone who wishes to make the jump to CSP 154, let's go over how to do that. First things first, you are going to need your Manga Studio or Clip Studio serial number handy. When you head to Smith Micro's website, you will need that as your proof of purchase in order to download the program. But if you head over to Celsius's website, you can download the program without the serial number at all. Now, if you've been running CSP to this point, you can treat this update as you normally would. Run the setup, and it will update your copy to the latest version. If you're transitioning from Manga Studio, you're going to notice that once you run the setup, it actually doesn't overwrite your current copy of Manga Studio. It will instead be a separate installation. In essence, you will have two copies of the program on your machine. To register, enter your Manga Studio serial number when the dialog box appears. Once completed, Clip Studio will transfer your materials, tools, workspaces, and preferences from Manga Studio, making your transition as seamless as possible. When you run this program for the first time, you will notice that a few new windows are going to pop up. These are related to some new features that I will be reviewing and discussing over the next couple of episodes. But in the meantime, you can either close, minimize, or dock these windows to the side drawers. The workspace will also begin in its default setup. If you've created and saved a custom workspace, you can find them in the main menu under Window, Workspace. And with that, you're all set to go with Clip Studio Paint 154. But before I go, I want to bring two important changes to your attention. First off, the file format has changed. CSP will now use a new file format called .clip. This file format is smaller than the .lip files that we're familiar with, and according to the release notes, will save and load faster within the program. However, and this is important, 
this new file format is not backwards compatible with versions of CSP prior to version 154 or with any version of Manga Studio 5. You will be able to open .lib files with no problem in CSP 154, but when you save, it will be saved in the new .clip format. You may find that the extension remains .lib, but trust me, it will be this new file format. You will then not be able to open the file in anything but CSP 154 and beyond. You will see alert boxes first when you open a .lib file in the program and again when you are about to save it. These are just your friendly reminders of the file update. Honestly, it's nothing that I feel you need to worry too much about, as what you've created in your original file remains exactly the same in the new format. It's just something to keep in mind as we all move forward with Clip Studio Paint. If you want to keep the original Manga Studio.lip format, you will want to first use File Save As instead of File Save to create a .clip version of your file. Once you do that, you can save as normal without affecting your original .lip file. Speaking of file, save as, let me talk about this next important FYI. I was asked if it was still possible to save a layered file, like a Photoshop.psd file. When I checked, I noticed that they have rearranged and renamed how files are exported in CSP 154. It is still possible to save a layered file if you select File, Save As, or File, Save Duplicate from the main menu. Save Duplicate was formerly known as Export Layered in the program. You will go through the same save dialog box that you have seen in the past. Simply select Photoshop from the file type drop down list at the bottom of the dialog box. The only difference that I've seen is that there is no longer an export settings dialog box for Photoshop files, which would let you pick and choose the layer types that you would want to export. Now Clip Studio Paint just transfers everything on your page over to the new Photoshop file. As before, any Clip Studio Paint exclusive layer types will not transfer to the Photoshop file. Ruler layers will be blank and vector and text layers will be rasterized. Beyond those key elements and the new features and functions that I'll be discussing over the next few episodes, your Clip Studio Paint experience should be no different than what you have done when it was called Manga Studio. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this episode of the Clip Studio Guide, which was brought to you thanks to the generous support of Patreon subscribers like the ones you see here. If you would like to support the Clip Studio Guide and help me keep this series free for everyone, you can subscribe for as little as one cent per video through Patreon.com, or you can purchase books, page templates, rulers, private lessons, or just throw some money in the tip jar on my online store. If you are new to Clip Studio and are a subscriber to Lynda.com, you can check out my Essentials course. This will get you started down the path to creating your first comic page in the program. And as always, you can support this series by subscribing to it on YouTube and telling other Clip Studio users about it on whatever social media outlet you like to use. Every little bit helps, and it is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.